Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be talking about proof of the reduction formula of the integral of sine of x to the power of n. Alright, so this proof just generally contains three different components. We start with the algebraic manipulation, to the integration by parts, and then the trig identities. Well actually applying the algebra and trig identities throughout the entire process, but this is what it just mainly consists of. So to initially begin we want to apply algebra and manipulate the initial expression of the integral of sine of x to the power of n and split it up between sine of x multiplied by sine of x to the power of n minus 1 which is as we can see still sine of x to the power of n as when we multiply and we just add the powers so n minus 1 plus 1 is still n after we've split it into two parts this is where we can apply integration by parts so defining our u u v d u and dv so we let sine of x to the power of n minus 1 be u and sine of x be dv we do this because it's much easier to differentiate sine of x to the power of n minus 1 than integrate it. And sine of x can be either differentiated or integrated easily, so it doesn't really matter where we put it. Alright, so differentiating sine of x to the power of n minus 1, applying the chain rule, we bring the power down, so n minus 1, multiplied by sine of n minus 1x, subtracting 1 from the power, making it n minus 2, and then multiplying it by the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of sine is cos. Next, we move on to sine of x. And just integrating sine of x makes it negative cos x. We have negative cos of x multiplied by sine of x to the power of n minus 1 minus the integral of negative cos x multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by sine of x n minus 2 multiplied by cos x dx. Moving on, simplifying this further, all we have to do now is just take out that n minus 1 and multiply the two cos's together to get cos squared x. All right, now this is where we apply the trig identity of sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. Now replacing cos squared x with 1 minus sine squared x, we get negative cos x multiplied by sine of n minus 1x plus n minus 1 multiplied by the integral of 1 minus sine squared x times sine x to the power of n minus 2 dx. Multi multiplying it inside the brackets, we get sine of x to the power of n minus 2 minus sine of x to the power of n. Now after we've applied the sine of x to the power of n minus 2 within the brackets, we split the integral into two different parts. So multiplying the n minus 1 to both sine of x to the power of n minus 2. Now rewriting this entire line, we notice that the integral of sine of x to the power of n is on both sides. So plusing n minus 1 of the integral of sine of x to the power of n to both sides, we end up getting that n times the integral of sine of x to the power of n is equal to what we just had with the n minus 1 removed from the right side. Now the final step would be dividing through by n. And in so with doing this, we, we end up with the final proof that the integral of sine of x to the power of n dx is equal to negative cos x times sine x to the power of n minus 1 over n plus n minus 1 over n multiplied by the integral of sine x to the power of n minus 2. And that's it. Thanks for watching.